Hi everybody, I'm Justin Boos and I'm here to show you the Gestural Illustration Brush Pack for Painter Essentials. I am using Painter 2020 in this video, however the brushes that you are using, the 10 that are included for Essentials, should work just the same as you will use them in Essentials if you are to get them. I'm going to go ahead and show you each brush and how they work, but first I want to touch base on the intention of the brushes. Um, Again, these are based around gestural illustration, and gestural illustration, as you might know, is very subjective. It captures essence uh, through motion, direction, shape, form, um, and is very, very subjective, like I just said. Uh, so, you know, this is kind of a pack that you can do uh, what your interpretation of that is, but don't get too worried in trying to follow something too... Um, intentional or uh, doing what others might do with their gestural artwork um, since your artwork is your own and these uh, these brushes are really kind of uh, curated around that so that you can be the creative person that you are and and not follow something exact uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all 10 brushes that are included in this pack and I'm gonna start with alchemy and this one you can see is really a multi-line stroke and if you use it on a canvas it tends to look oh well, maybe it's because I'm on gray there too but if if you use it on a, its own layer it tends to be a little more thin which is fine this is gestural like I said so uh, that works out just great in most scenarios but it's got some interesting multi-line strokes that are very expressive if you're going for gestural illustration this is like a really cool way of making some basic shapes and a lot of them without working too hard so I per personally love uh, multi-stroke pens I try to make them all the time I try to sometimes hold two pens at once you've all probably tried that at least once in your life uh, so a fun little brush for that the next one is blend uh, this one simply grabs those colors and you can pull them around so if you made a stroke that you don't like, maybe I don't like the way this is, I can kind of at least do something with it. And it almost looks kind of painterly and adds some depth to the artwork. The next one I'm going to show you is charcoal. This one kind of speaks for itself. Just some nice textured strokes. You can make them large or thin. And this one is going to help you make some more bold gestural strokes. And you can kind of start to make something a little darker there uh, or add to something that you know you started out pretty thin and then the next one is cover this one is even more bold than charcoal and this one is gonna basically create shapes for you so if you're a shape creator you can do it on your own layer there it's always a good idea and you can start to dig away at a unique shape and find something in it so I thought that was important to include in gestural illustration since that a lot of digital art is based upon bold hard shapes uh, this one though as you can see is a lot more expressive than just uh, something that's a hard flat flat shape uh, so let's move on to fast and this one is interesting because the faster that you make your stroke the thinner it goes I will tell you though that the harder you press the more focused the line so if you're wondering what's going on um, let's clear that you can kinda see as I press harder more focus less and less focused right there kinda gives you some creative sense of control while also having some room for fun and creativity there let's move on to multiply this one is of course one of my favorite presets in for particles in painter uh, I love to play with brushes that have multiple lines just like the one up here however this one uh, really helps you with uh, contours if I were to go back to that coffee cup here I could take this brush and whoops kinda show exactly the form of it and this is created in a way that it's pretty loose it doesn't leave you with an exact I can't exactly make a good shape that's 
mathematical there. It's going to be loose and, again, directional, just like we want our strokes to be. Let's move on to, where am I here? Scene. This one is fun. If you are trying to do some gestural illustration but not doing a form, maybe a scene, I recommend trying this brush out. This one's going to make some nice, swift, bold, but fast strokes. So you can start to slowly put a scene together. Maybe you don't know what you want to do yet. This kind of gives you some randomness. As you can see, as I'm painting one way, it goes in different directions and builds up over itself. So this one kind of helps you to uh, play the alchemist and see some good ideas in your work before that, uh, before that you think too hard. So let's go move on to Smear. And this one is another brush that the harder you press, the more focused. I feel like that was kind of felt right with gestural brushes. So you can see I'm pressing and it, it goes thinner, but you can see that this stroke here, let's clear a canvas, almost looks like a nice smear. Instead of using a pencil, it's like a graphite. It almost looks like I took my thumb or a brush maybe and kind of smeared some graphite around. And I feel like that's important if you have something that's somewhat done and you want to smear something around and take that and it almost looks like I just grabbed some of that dark stuff right there and rubbed it around myself. Kind of fun. It looks cool. Very organic looking. I'm going to have to keep that brush in my workspace. Let's look at soft here. I'm going to clear that again. And this is something you can really add some nice paper texture under your gesture. You know, just in this picture here, we have some texture and I feel like it helps it feel more organic, especially in the process of making the picture. So when you're doing gesture, it's typically based off like pen and paper. And I feel like laying some of this down beforehand might help you to feel the canvas a little more. Let's move on to wet. And this one is a simple line brush. However, there's a trick to it you get to pick two colors. So typically in any digital painting software, there's a there's your main color and your additional color, secondary color. So if I pick my secondary color to be like red or a little gray, and I want this one to be maybe a little more blue, it's going to be kind of a mixture of those. That way you've got some depth to your line, and this is a nice bold but wet line. Almost looks like you're painting with a thin watercolor brush. And this one is pretty fun for making some figurative strokes. I'm not really a master of the figure, but you can kind of see how that might help you find some cool poses. So that is all 10 brushes for the Painter Essentials version of the Gestural Illustration Brush Pack. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing what you make. Thank you.